peeps, it's me again. Surprised to see me so soon? I told you I'm gonna do better about getting videos out. That aside, today I wanna show you a process that I did a few months ago. I started with, um, I first saw it on Planning with Bumble. Excellent um, YouTube channel, you gotta go check her out. She's awesome. Bumble is her dog who is adorable. But anyway, it was the goals page that she made. Mine is incredibly similar. Um, so just 2021. And these are uh, chipboard stickers for the word goals. Um, so I'm going to go through and show you what I've done um, this year so far, where I blew it, um, and the stamp books that I used to do it. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Thanks. All right, let's check it out. So this is a section that I've added to my planner um, and it is a goal section. I have a little dashboard here uh, to show me where it is. Um, and what I've done is each month I used, I believe it was this, the Boss Babe social media. I pulled the pages out. Yeah, here they are. Um, and I got the little calendars from that sticker book. Um, but I'm sure there are other sticker books that you can find something similar like the tracker I have over here. Happy goals. I, mar I mar uh, marked a place here. You could do the exact same thing with these. You can do it. You got this. Make it habit. So these are habit trackers. But again, they're a month at a time. So you could easily do the same thing with those. So check out. All of your uh, different sticker books because you may have something that will work for you if you don't have the boss babe social media planner okay so um, as I mentioned in the intro these are uh, chipboard uh, stickers that I used and I um, did add some glue to them what I found in my paper crafting is a lot of times the uh, chipboard stickers and stuff they they fall off so be sure and use glue with that so what i did was january i did i needed to be in bed by 10 30. so i was really bad about going to bed late i started off pretty good whoops someday i'll learn how to do this i started off pretty good but then i went to denver for a couple of weeks and blew it so that was January. February was wake up by 7.30. So what the concept is, when I get to February, I should be doing January and February tasks. So I should be getting out of bed by, I mean, going to bed by 10.30 and getting out of bed at by 7.30. Again, didn't really do great. I had a craft weekend here, so I was up way late. And honestly, sometimes I forget to come in here and mark it. And March was budget. An X meant I did it. There's three X's. And then I wrote blue it all month. I was a shopaholic the month of March. I blew that, but I'm still attempting to do it now in April. And I'll show you how I keep track of that as well. So a friend of mine called me Spinderella, which I thought was hilarious. So yeah, blew it there. So now we're in April. So I have like a gratitude journal, um, a faith journal, um, I'm trying to think all the different books and the names that they have that I write in. So I do a lot of it, but I don't know, are you guys hit or miss? I start really gung ho and then I blow it and then it'll go like a month. So I'm trying really hard to be diligent in journaling. And so I picked out journaling. So what I've done is I've um, thought of different things that I wanted to do. Yes, August says brush, treat, brush teeth twice a day. No, I hate brushing my teeth at night. How sad is that? Your kids probably do better with this than I do. What I did find out though, and what I would suggest for you guys is, um, I went through filling stuff out as it came to me instead of prioritizing what I wanted to do first. 
And for example, here, uh, no devices in bed at night. I wanted to move that and move my September up to May, but it started to rip. So what I would suggest doing is taking just a, a separate, uh, could be a half sheet or something from, I don't have one out here, but y'all know what those half sheets look like. Um, and writing what you think you want to do for each month versus putting pen to it right away. Um, because like here, church in person or online, I've been really bad, really, really bad about not going to church. Um, and obviously in COVID times for a while you couldn't go, but this should 100% be up higher than October. So in the end, I did not do November and December when I realized what I had done and that I couldn't. Now, granted, I could have put a sticker over a sticker. I could have redone it, but that was like a whole lot of effort. <laughs> so actually in my mind, I'll be attempting to do some of these things as well. September, I have my morning devotional. I'm pretty good about doing that right now, but that is my advice to you guys. Do not fill these in right away. Don't commit to ink. Now, how I'm tracking it, because like I said, um, you, so April is journaling. Bring it back in. You can see I have sad faces. I did not do it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I did today. So I'm going to hope to see check marks or sometimes I'll use a star, something to indicate that I have done it. The first one is always the current new one for the month. And so this is April journaling. And these are the month uh, sheets from uh, Happy Planner. Love them. I, I bought two packs of them. You can do so much with these um, monthly blank sheets. Now here is how I've done my get up by 7.30, bed by 10.30. So these were my, what month? Uh, January and February. So these were January, February things. I took a ruler, because I have this thing, my diagonals had to match. And so what I did was I just held a ruler, you kind of line up and then you just draw it. That way you have these straight lines here. Basically, the top is the morning, the bottom is the evening. So you can see that last Monday I was up early. I didn't mark it Tuesday. Wednesday I was. Sad face on Friday. I was off on Friday. I didn't want to get up early. Uh, Saturday, I actually got up early. What I did to get myself up early on Saturday was schedule a breakfast date with my husband. So I would have to get up and wash my hair. But weekends, it's going to be really rare that I go to bed by uh, 10.30 on a weekend. So that's how I'm doing the January, February, Fe January and February goals during the month of April. And then March was budget, which I blew. I don't even think I did a sheet like this because I blew it. I mean, Spinderella to the hilt. Um, so what I've done is I'm going to stick a little piggy bank on any day that I don't spend money. Um, these stickers are payday stickers. I'm using the, uh, budget, the two different budget, uh, sticker books from Happy Planner. You can get the pigs and the, uh, paydays and all that stuff in here for that. Um... I'm pretty sure I bought stuff here. I don't remember what. So anyway, I think I'm going to need to up it because so, I mean, obviously we have savings and all that stuff that my husband deals with and I have like little accounts that I putter with. So I thought, okay, every little pig represents 10 bucks. I'm going to think, I think I need to increase it to like 20 or 25, but, um, for every day that I have a pig, I don't spend anything. Then... I will transfer that over uh, out of my account into like a little savings account I have in another bank. Just a way to, I don't know, save a little bit of money when I'm not blowing it. So as you can see, this is April, budget, January, February. So in May, I will be doing the journaling all four months and then adding May to it. 
So it's really a great way to keep track of if you're uh, really doing the habits and the things that you want to get started with during the day. I mean, during each month. Um, one more thing, the uh, stickers that I used for the months here are just out of a Happy Planner Dates and Holiday book. I'm sure you guys all have some kind of a date thing. You can either stamp the date or use those clear stickers from uh, one of the Happy Planner books. So, goal sheet, I encourage you to create one. If you have one and you want to tell us about it or things that you've been uh, using or things that you've been saying you want to do and improve, tell us in the comments below. I'd love to hear some of the goals that you're reaching for as well. Um, so that's my quick video. If you are new, please consider subscribing down below and happy crafting. And I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.